I don't know. You're gonna hate this. You're absolutely gonna hate this. Look at this shade. Oh my gosh. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. And welcome back to my dimly lit apartment. It's a dark and stormy day outside and lighting is not cooperating, but you know what? It's okay. It's giving us cozy vibes. You and I are sitting together. Look at us. We're wearing our sweaters. It's warm. It's cozy. Grab a candle, grab a cup of tea, and let's have a nice cozy day here together. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to find out how nice and warm and cozy my apartment is today. Oh, can't you just see a little fireplace in the background? Wouldn't that just make it even cozier? No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in all of the makeup that I bought and got in the month of August. So if you are new to this series on my channel, hi, hello, my name is Giovanna. I'm a Virgo and I'm so happy to have you here. Every month on my channel, I do a monthly makeup roundup where I talk about all of the makeup that I purchased myself in the previous month, as well as all of the makeup that I received in PR, just as a way to keep you up to date on makeup I've been trying. As much as I try to mention everything on my channel, like as I'm trying it for the first time, every once in a while things slip by the wayside, and it's a good way for me to give you like second, third, fourth, tenth impressions of things I've been trying throughout the month, so it's just a really good, fun, sweet time for us to sit together and chat about new makeup. So. If that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to hear my monthly makeup roundup, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. <sighs> oh my gosh, I know I was talking about it being nice and warm and cozy, but to be honest, it's a little bit too warm. A little more warm than cozy right now, but it's okay. If you see a sweat stain, just mind your business. Oh, they're here already? Are you kidding me? I just put the sweater on. That's okay. Let's start by talking about all of the makeup that I purchased by myself for the month of August, and to be honest, it was, it was kind of a lot this month. Makeup low buy who? You know, honestly, I've kind of not abandoned my makeup low buy this year because I am still being more like conscious of my makeup decisions like I'm definitely still thinking them through more than I did last year but uh yeah I've been buying some more stuff but you know what it's okay it's all good stuff so the first couple things I want to talk to you about I bought when I did a little mini Ulta haul earlier in the month if you want to see that video I will link it somewhere on the screen for you because I tried everything on and gave first impressions but let me give you my 10th impressions on these products because I love them all so much so the first one I will talk to you about is this LA girl shockwave eyeliner and I have the shade fresh oh, just hit myself on the eyelash there did you see that so I have the shade fresh which is a minty shade I'll give you a little swatch oh I have some on my hand from earlier it's a beautiful minty shade if you've somehow missed it I don't know how you could have I've been saying it constantly but I'm in my mint era baby mint is like my new favorite color I want all mint everything all the time as you can see on my eyes today however I'm actually not wearing this one on my eyes today because it just it didn't quite fit in with the look I had going but I have been loving this eyeliner so, so much. It's super creamy. I've worn it both in my waterline as well as all over my eyes. So it's really good in both of those areas. I would love for you guys to give me more shade recommendations in the LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliner Formula because I've heard they're not all good, you know? So tell me which ones are good because I really, really like this one in the shade Fresh. And yeah, I would love to buy some more. But another product that I got in my little mini Ulta haul is from Flower Beauty and it is is there by Drew Be Chill Chill Out. It has such a long name. It's like the Be Chill Chill Out Under Eye Color Corrector with CBD in it. And this was a recommendation of one of you guys, one of my subscribers. So thank you so much for telling me about this because it's awesome. I love this stuff so, so much. I've mentioned before in my channel, I'm a big fan of peachy under eye correctors because I don't have a ton of blue under my eyes. Like I'm very fortunate. I have pretty, pretty easy, breezy, beautiful under eye but I do have a little bit of discoloration under there so I really like to put this under there just before my concealer because I also don't like to use super high coverage concealers so you know a peachy under eye corrector in combination with like a light coverage concealer is like 
my favorite thing in the world. So this stuff is awesome. It's super creamy. You can just see, I'm gonna show you how my finger just like moves around and melts. It's a very luscious, melty product. Feels very balmy. I've said before, it feels kind of like an eye cream to me. I don't know what I'm showing you here. It's a peachy under eye corrector. It's peachy and it's basically my skin tone. And I do feel like it gives me a nice, you know, little flawless looking under eye. So I've been loving wearing this under my concealers and I've used it with a bunch of different types of concealers on top of it and I find that it works really well with everything. So yes, we love a product that works well with others and if you're looking for a good peachy under eye corrector, I definitely recommend this one from Flower Beauty. It was about $10 and it does come in three different shades. So I have the lightest one. I have the shade light peach, but they did have a medium peach and deep peach so you could find one more suited to your skin tone. But this has been a great find that I found in the month of August. And then the last thing that I got in that little mini Ulta haul is this freckle tint from Lottie London. This was a recommendation from my friend Chris over on Instagram. I think Chris watches me here too. Hi Chris, how's it going? Chris recommended this Lottie London freckle tint and I really, really like it. I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first. If you saw that Ulta haul video that I did trying everything on for the first time, then you know I was very, oh, I don't know about this freckle tint just because it's a liquid. And the only freckle pen that I've used other than this is the ColourPop one, which I have right here. It's the ColourPop freckle pen. And that one is like a felt tip. So it's basically like an eyeliner. Whereas this one is like a paintbrush tip. So it's more like a liquid eyeliner, but it's like a lot comes out. So you have to be just very careful with it because you could easily apply too much and then it doesn't really dry down. Because you wanna be able to do the thing where you like place a couple of freckles and then you go in and move them around with your finger. I could always use some more freckles. I'll do some right now for you. So you wanna be able to do the thing where you go in and you put your little freckles down and then you let them stay a little wet so that you can, you know, add, additionalize them. That's not a word. So you can multiply them, multiply them by going in with your finger. So I let it like dry for a few seconds and then I go in and move them around and it makes it look like there's a bunch of freckles there and it makes them look more natural. But the only thing you have to be careful with this product is if you put on too much, like I'll put on a big one right there. Yeah, that's gonna take a long time to dry and it's likely it might not ever dry just cause it's too big a gob of liquid. But when you can make this work, it looks absolutely beautiful. Just go in with a light hand. You can always add more, but it is a little bit more of a hassle to like try to wipe off one of these big gobs so you can see like if yeah so as soon as I put my finger on it it just gets too huge and then it moves around these other ones and you can rub it away like it is a little forgiving but you know just go in with a light hand and you'll be all good to go but I do really like the Lottie London freckle tint now that I know how to use it and it was only like seven dollars so I'm really really happy to have this all right so that's all of the stuff that I got from Ulta over the last month now I want to show you a product that I got from TJ Maxx which was such a good find and that is the first aid beauty bendy avocado concealer. Now, this is a concealer that Samantha Ravendahl has raved about for years, and so it was always kind of like in the back of my mind, like, ooh, I want to try that. But I had refrained from doing that because one, liquid concealers just, you know, historically have not worked really well for me because I have very dry skin and I find that they typically dry down and look cakey and it just... It's not a good look on me. The full price of this is also $22, so that was another reason that I wasn't really willing to try it. But when I saw it at my local TJ Maxx for $5.99, I was like, you know what, baby, I'll give it a try. And I'm really glad that I did because I love it. It is such a nice brightening concealer that gives a light coverage, but it doesn't need to be high coverage, you know, for the purpose I'm using it for. Because like I mentioned earlier, I get some coverage from this Flower Beauty color corrector and then I go in with my first aid beauty concealer and it's more of like a yellow tone and at first when I swatched it I was like oh no is this a bad shade for me because I got cool undertones I don't have warm undertones so I usually avoid yellow but if you use it as more of a brightener I think it works really well now of course I can't speak for how the other shades work I don't know if they all pull kind of yellowy it's definitely a light to medium coverage concealer if you are like a shape tape type of a person you're gonna hate this you're absolutely gonna hate this so much but 
you know what, that's kind of the fun thing about makeup is that everyone has different preferences and different things that work well for them in their routine. And this works really, really well for me. It's the first liquid concealer that I have ever liked and hasn't made my under eyes look super dry and cakey. So I'm a big fan and I highly recommend checking out your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Winners or what have you and seeing if they have this because $5.99 compared to $22, that's a freaking steal and I really like this. Oh my God, I bought so much this month. Um, yeah, I bought a lot this month, oh no. But it's okay, most things I have bought have been affordable, yeah. So I've probably spent like less than $50 on everything I bought. So you know what, we're feeling good, we're feeling fresh. I placed my first Beauty Bay order ever this month. They had a sale and you guys know I was so curious about that Wilderness palette and I'm so happy that I got it because now it's like a big to-do to get one. It like might be out of stock forever, it might have been limited edition, it might be coming back, nobody knows when. So I'm super glad that I was able to snag one and I hope you all are able to get one too because this palette rocks. I can't stop using this palette. When I got this, I used it like six days in a row. Like I just couldn't use anything else and I kept feeling like there were more looks I was inspired to create with it, which is awesome. That's what you want from a palette, especially a palette as large as this because this is 20 shades, which I would consider to be a pretty large palette. 20 is usually like my max for a palette. Like I tend to stick with smaller palettes, but if I am going to go for a larger palette, 20 is like my magic number, you know, a perfect number of shades for me. And I just think this formula is amazing. If you want to see me use this in action, I will link a get ready with me that I did using it on the screen for you because I mean, you can see in that video just how effortless everything was. The mattes blend really nicely, even the deep mattes, which is a big test for me because I used to really like the ColourPop So Jaded palette until I started using the deeper mattes in that palette. Like the deep blue was just not good at all. They were super, super patchy, whereas these deep shades blend like a dream. They truly are effortless. I haven't had any issues with the blending of the mattes or the shimmers. The shimmers are so buttery. I mean, I'm mad that you guys didn't scream at me to try Beauty Bay's shimmer formula sooner. I'm just kidding. I can never be mad at you. But I just, I didn't know. I had no idea that it was that good. The only Beauty Bay palettes I had ever seen people review before were the Nikki Tutorials collab, which unfortunately seemed like it had some, you know, not so great parts about it. So that kind of turned me off from the brand. But I'm so glad that I gave this one a try because it's just so, 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 so good. And I could just ramble about it forever, but I will refer you to that get ready with me where I used it so that you can hear me talk about it more if you want to. And then the other thing I placed in my Beauty Bay order was a Glisten Cosmetics wet liner. And if you're not new to my channel, you know that I love Glisten Cosmetics. I've tried their split liner palettes. I've tried their iridescent wet liners before. I actually have an affiliate code with them because I love them so much, which is Giovanna 10, which you can use to save 10% off your Glisten purchase. And that is an affiliate code, but I thank you so much if you decide to use that. I couldn't use a code on on this on the Beauty Bay website, but that's okay because they had a 20% off sale, which was great. And this shade is called Menth, which means mint. And if you guys were paying attention earlier, then you know that I'm in my mint era. I love mint. And I am wearing this shade today and it's just so pretty. I mean, the Glisten Cosmetics formula is truly top notch. It's such a good water activated liner formula and I've tried a lot. And this one is up there with my favorites. And I also really like the shade. It's so unique. It's so interesting how many different shades of mint there are because I consider this shade from LA Girl to be a mint too, but that's more of like a bluey mint, whereas this is almost like more of like a pastel sagey mint. I just love mint shades. Please recommend all of your favorite mint shaded makeup to me because I want absolutely all of it. But I really, really love this new Glisten Cosmetics wet liner and it just makes me want to keep buying more. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to get this on Beauty Bay as well. And then the last item that I bought in the month of August with my own money is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and this is in the shade Moon. Now, these have been recommended to me for a long time. I have always been very curious about them because I heard that they're good dupes for the Fenty glosses, which are much more expensive. And I think I heard that this shade in particular is a dupe for the shade Fenty Glow, the first Fenty gloss that Rihanna came out with, which I used to own but had to declutter because it was expired. And I can vouch this is an exact dupe for it. But guess what? But guess what? Guess what? I like it even better. I know, I know. You're like, oh my gosh, you like that better than 
than Fenty. How could you? But I do because one, the packaging is better. The Fenty one like leaks out the sides and gets all up in your bag and that's no fun at all. Also, the Fenty one has a fragrance that's just not my taste. It's kind of tropical-y slash Play-Doh-y and I just didn't like that. Whereas this one smells like caramel. It's like sweet dessert, like a caramel flan. Like, oh, it's just so, so good. And the shade is identical to the shade Fenty Glow. It's got that same big doe foot applicator. I mean, it's so glossy. Do you see how shiny my lips look? Ugh, I'm upset. I'm upset at myself for waiting so long to get this gloss. Let's zoom in again so you can just see how glossy my lips are. There's definitely some glitter in here, but it doesn't have a grittiness to it because if you've ever used a glittery gloss that you can like feel the grits in it, Oh, that's an uncomfortable feeling. It's super uncomfortable, whereas this is super, super comfortable, and I'm so impressed with this gloss. I definitely want to go back and get more shades, so let me know what other shades you like of the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, because I am a huge fan. Okay, and that is officially all of the makeup that I bought in the month of August, so now we can move on to the makeup that I got in the month of August. Oh wait, quick, quick honorable mention to two new blushes that I got in the month of August. Um, and by new, I mean I made them myself out of my previously existing blushes. So if you missed those videos, I mixed all of my powder blushes together to make this beautiful powder blush, and then I mixed all of my cream blushes together to get this beautiful cream blush. So I will link both of those videos down below if you want to watch, but I got two new blushes and I didn't have to spend a dime, so that was really great for me. Alright, now moving on to things that I received in PR in the month of April, April, April. April. Oh my gosh, August. Wowie. Okay, the month of August, I received two palettes from the company Estate Cosmetics, and they're really cute theming-wise. They have the Mystic Forest palette, and then they have the Hidden Garden palette, which are both very woodsy themed, which I was like, oh my gosh, is that like the theme this season? Is that like the new fall vibe is like woodsy themes? If so, I'm in. I love it. I'm all the way in. So, so far, I have only worn the Mystic Forest palette, but I am wearing it right now. So let me give you a little breakdown of what's on my eyes here. I am wearing this black shade down here, which is a phenomenal black. I was blown away by how pigmented this black shade is. And if you're someone like me who wears a lot of black eyeshadow, then you know that not all black eyeshadows are created equally. And it's super important to have like a really nice pigmented blendable black eyeshadow. And this will do that for you. And it's a huge pan. So I'm so excited to have this one. And then on top of that, I am wearing this this creamy buttery goodness that is the shade mystic forest it's like literally butter do you see me sticking my hand in this like this is giving very super shock shadow vibes and it has a nice black base to it but ugh, this shade, this is like a midnight mint shade. You can tell there's a hint of mint in there, but it's like a midnight forest mint. It's so beautiful. And I just went ahead and put that right over my eye look. Let's zoom in even further. So I just went ahead and put that over the black eyeshadow. I used a glitter primer on this side, but then I didn't on this side and it still stuck really well. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that it's got like a very buttery, creamy feel to it. I haven't used it not over a black base yet, so I'll continue testing it and let you know how it looks not over a black base, but looking at it on my hand, I have a feeling like the black base is just the way to go, but these shades are both so, so beautiful. Those are the only two shades I've used so far, but I'm really, really impressed with this formula. I mean, they're super, super pigmented and I'm just liking them a lot so far. This shade, I need to figure out a way to wear neutral eyeshadows because I never really want to, but this shade is stunning. I showed this on my Instagram stories the other day and you guys were like, what the heck is that? I mean, just look at this shade. It's so reflective and metallic-y. This palette, I think, is my favorite color story of the two. I really like, you know, the blacks, the deep greens, this beautiful shade, this beautiful shade, and the oranges are really very much my speed, whereas with the other palette, which, what is it called? Hidden Garden is pretty, but it's definitely not as much my speed. The colors don't feel quite as buttery to me. Like, the purple shade looks pretty, but it doesn't feel as buttery. Like it definitely feels drier as compared to this beautiful shade here. Like it's a pretty color for sure, but it just doesn't feel as buttery. And to me, it's not 
quite as impactful, but I'll definitely be sure to keep trying it. This color story is just a little less inspiring to me, you know, versus those beautiful deep blues and greens. Ugh, that's just very much my speed. But thanks so much to Estate Cosmetics for sending me those beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Wow, can you see that I'm sweating? The oils are popping through. Oh no, it's so hot in here. But the other palette that was sent to me this month, which technically was the beginning of September, not August, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm just too excited. I wanna talk about it now. Geology Cosmetics, which is an indie makeup brand based out of Australia, sent me their first ever eyeshadow palette. It's called the Pilbara eyeshadow palette. And first of all, can we get into this packaging? The fact that it like looks like a geode, I'm screaming. And this palette is gorgeous inside. I mean, holy freaking moly, the greens, I'm in love. And I've only gotten to wear this once and I'm mad at myself. I didn't take any pictures of myself wearing it because I was trying to get ready real quick to go to dinner, but I love this so far. This is easily my favorite shade I've used so far. It's called Starry Sky. I'm wearing that on my eyes today. I have it on my inner corner and on my brow bone and I'll put it on my finger right now for you because look at this shade, oh my gosh. It's called Starry Sky and like what a freaking aptly named shade because it is just like the stars in the freaking sky. It is so, so sparkly. It's like pure light. It's got a nice greeniness to it. It's like a greeny white gold shade, but it layers really nicely on top of other stuff. Like I told you, I have it on my inner corner here today and you can kind of see how it looks over that black there. But then it's also my brow bone highlight, which you can see just looks very wet on my eyes. And I just really, really like this shade. It's so pretty. I'm gonna keep testing, oops, wrong way. I'm gonna keep testing this palette and I'll let you know how it goes. I'll definitely post some looks of myself wearing this, probably do a reel with it. I've been doing a lot of reels using eyeshadow palettes lately. Follow me on Instagram at GlamGeoNYC. But I just wanted to tell you right now, in case you were like on the fence, like maybe you've seen it and you weren't sure like it's so far it's been a banger I've worn the mattes and the shimmers and they're both beautiful so I would definitely recommend this eyeshadow palette and it's just so creative I love the packaging I love everything about it and I can't wait to keep using it oh my gosh it's getting so dark out and I'm so hot how are we doing on the sweat stains oh boy a lot bigger a lot bigger than what we started okay well good thing we've reached the end of the video that is all of the makeup that I bought and got in the month of August I feel really happy with all the purchases I've made this month I feel like I brought a lot of good stuff into my collection. It has me feeling very inspired and wanting to play with new colors, even though I'm a little bit stuck in my mint era. You know, I've been branching out into different shades of greens and different shimmers and stuff, and I'm just really feeling very inspired to create a lot of new makeup looks, which is what you want your makeup to do for you. You want it to inspire you, so I'm feeling great. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what new makeup you got in the month of August. I would love to know your hits and misses. Tell me everything. Tell me your August makeup favorites. I would love to know it all. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they're always just as goofy as this one, and the lighting is usually better. So keep that in mind when you make your decision. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my description box for all of the makeup that I mentioned today. Also in my description box, I will have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, and resources to support the LGBTQ plus community. So please check out those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. Okay, bye.